And here's another interesting example of surface tension, the paper clip. And yes, indeed, some paper clips are actually able to, quote, float on top of the water. So here's a, a paper clip. The dimensions of the paper clip in centimeters is, is uh, if you look at it, that's what a paper, paper clip looks like. But on this side, it's three centimeters long. This length here is two centimeters. This length is two centimeters. And that one is one centimeter. And we'll just ignore the little edges. Well, um, that's not a good thing to do that. So let's say a half a centimeter for this curve, a half a centimeter for that curve, and a half a centimeter for that curve. Because we do have to account for the entire length of that a paper clip that's you know curled up into that shape. All right, um, what is the maximum mass that paper clip can have so that it still stays afloat? Quote the float on top of the surface of the water. Okay, we know that the surface tension, the force due to surface tension, is equal to the coefficient of surface tension times the total length that the object makes uh, contact with the water and then of course times the cosine of the angle theta which is the contact angle but of course since we're looking for the maximum mass that would then imply that theta is equal to zero which means that maximum indentation in the surface before it breaks through which means that the cosine of zero of course is equal to one so this can go to one the surface tension of course is caused should be the counterbalance to the weight of the object so mg is equal to the coefficient surface tension times the length and of course the length is going to be the total length of this paper clip and now also remember that if you kind of take a cross section of the paper clip like that notice that there'll be water contact on one side and water contact on the other side so you do have to take into account both sides of that paper clip as it sits on top of the water so that's going to be two times the total length in centimeters so we have uh, let's add them all up so we have three centimeters plus uh, two centimeters, plus two centimeters, plus one centimeter, and then plus the half, half, and half centimeters for the little curve on all the sides. And of course, since we have taken into account both sides, we have to multiply all that times two. And all that, of course, would be in centimeters. All right, so that gives us total length that makes contact with the water. Uh, now, since we're looking for the mass, that would be mass is equal to gamma times two times, let's add them all up, three plus two is five, seven, eight, nine and a half centimeters, 9.5 centimeters, and then the whole thing divided by G. And again, let's do that in CGS units, centimeters, grams, and centimeters. So the total mass is equal to, gamma would be 72.8 dynes per centimeter times two, because we have to account for both sides times 9.5 centimeters total length of a paper clip uh, when you if you took a paper clip and stretched it all out you'd have a total length of 9.5 centimeters and divide by 980 uh, that would be centimeters per second squared that's acceleration due to gravity of course in uh, centimeter units or CGS units okay now I need a calculator to figure out what that is equal to 72.8 uh, times 2 times 9.5 and divide by 980 and that would be in grams 1.41 grams is the maximum mass of a paper clip 1.41 grams would be the heaviest or more most massive paper clip you can try this with but uh, if you want to have some fun at home get a little cup of water or a little glass of water get a small little paper clip a very light paper clip and very carefully with tweezers if you need to place it on top of the surface of the water. If you drop it, it'll probably go right through. But if you place it very carefully on the surface of the water, it should stay there and it's pretty neat. And you can see the nice indentation of the water as the, um, the paper clip pushes against the surface film of the water but doesn't break through. And that's why. So 1.41 grams, that's probably more than the mass of a paper clip, so it should easily work.